Hello, my name is Tina and today I'm gonna make this precise lathe tool for turning, cutting, inner turning and street cutting. All this out of broken drill bits, so let's start to make it step by step. All we need is some broken drill bits, street cutters or mills and a piece of steel rod. I use a square steel rod with more carbon in it, so it's a bit harder. I mark about 10cm long piece and then cut it. I got a bit too big rod, so I mill it for 05mm all around to get right dimension and nice finish. Dimension here is not important at all, I think I got 7 by 8 mm rod on end. After I got clean rod all around, I find the center on one side of the rod, so I can drill the hole for cutting tool. In this case, I make cutting tool out of 3.3 mm drills, so I drill hole with the same drill bit about 15 mm deep, and then cut edges with countersink. Now I drill 3.3mm hole through the holder, cut M4 treat in it and cut edges, so we got treat to block the tool into holder. After the holder is machined I sand all the faces and edges with the sandpaper. Ok, my simply holder is now finished, so I can insert a broken drill into and tight it to the screw. Now I can prepare my proxon for grinding the cutting tool. I got several different grinding attachments, but I got best result with the basing cutting disc. For attach the proxon and mini lathe I use this homemade holder. Now clamp some broken drill bits into lathe chuck, but before start grinding protect lathe radius from the grinding sparks, that's very important. I just use a piece of towel and a few magnets to hold it on its place. I start grinding the drill bit from the end, just that much to get nice flat surface. After the end is grinded and flat I start grinding from the side. I grind about 10mm length, just a bit less than a half of drill diameter. There are many ways to grind the tool, I just show you my few versions. And don't forget to cooling while grinding. I use water only here and there, but you get better result with more coolant. After that process you got something like this. If I use enough cooling it wouldn't change the color. Now I mark the area I want to grind away so I got the tool for internal turning and making internal groove. After I insert drill bit back to late, I first mark the start and end of grinding area. Then simply grind material away until you got result you want. Now I got basic shape of internal turning tool which looks something like that. All I need to do now is to sharpen it. To do that simply change an edge of grind a bit and shut the cutting area. Much better. Tool is now sharpened and I got this shape of tool. Sorry for bad photo quality but the point can be seen. In first round I grind this part, then grind here and finally sharpen it there. Knife is now ready to use, but I will cut negative angel front so it can cut from that side also. This is the final insert. I make two with different cutting carrier width. I'll show later how nice it cut. First make some more inserts. First round of grinding is always the same. Just got a flat surface out of drill bit. Now I mark where to grind to get the tiny internal treat cutting tool. Ok, my hands shaking when hold the pen, so let's get to work. For cutting treat I must grind cutting tool to 60 degree, so I set my grinder to 30 degree. Now grind entire ends to 30 degree. When it's finished simply turn chuck for 180 degree and grind from other side.
When it's done I got nicely 60 degree cutting tool. By turning the chuck I add a bit more negative angel. And then cut a bit of end so it can cut deeper into blind holes. That's how 60 degree cutting tool look like. This tool is made out of 3.3mm drill bit, so theoretically I can cut M4 internal treat with it. Just look how big is M6 nut by the tool. There are also easier way to grind the tool. Simply clamp drill into a holder and free grind it. This time I'll make 90 degree edge cutter. Then just cut spirals of the inserts and they're done. But I will make one more step on holder. I'll make this anti corrosion protection. This tool holder I made years ago and I use it a lot, but the protective film is still there. And no corrosion at all. It's very easy to make. All you need is linseed oil and a torch. Prepare the oil into non flammable tank because it become very hot. Then sand the piece to nice finish and wipe it with alcohol. If you miss that step the result will not be smooth. Do that after hook piece to a wire. Less you touch before heating, better the result will be. Now start the fire and heat the piece to temperature when it just try to become red. When the temperature is right just drop it to linseed oil. This process can be repeated more times to get better darker result. Usually I make 2 to 3 times. When it's still hot wipe it with a towel to get nice finish and that's it. And that's the final result. It could be better but for protect it be ok. And now make a test. Mount the holder and tool into and try internal cutting tool on piece of aluminium. It cut aluminium very nice in all three sides. But what about inox? Let's try them. Wow, it cut also inox. There's just a lot of annoying sound because of vibration. For inox we must to make shorter inserts to reduce vibrations. But the cutting surface is still nice for that small tool. And there's also some other type of inserts I make. All of them cut pretty good for its dimension. Also on steel they make pretty nice surface. Now let's try to make M4 internal treat. First I set the latte gears to 0.7mm pitch. Then take a piece of aluminium, mark center and drill 3.3mm hole. Now just install 60 degree insert and start cutting. And there come out fully functional M4 treat. That's it. I got two holders different size and I use it a lot. When it's some special cutting tool I simply grind some drill bit. Fast, easy, cheap and super useful. That's it for today. I hope you got some idea. There are really a lot of options to grind the drill on your needed shape. I just show my few most usable ones. 
Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.